Welcome to Roo Library's Quick Tips. In this tutorial, you will learn how to identify a scholarly journal. When you get an assignment, your professor may instruct you to find an article from a scholarly journal or to use peer-reviewed sources. Articles published in scholarly journals have been analyzed and evaluated by other scholars or experts in their field. This is why scholarly journals are often called peer-reviewed journals. So how can you tell if an article is scholarly? Here are some common features to look for. An abstract or single paragraph summary of the research appearing at the beginning of the article. Information about the author's affiliations and credentials. Specialized language or terms in the body of the article. And a list of references. Sometimes called works cited or bibliography, this list of references can also be a great place to find additional sources for your paper. When you think you found a scholarly article, it's a good idea to check whether the article is published in a peer-reviewed journal. You can usually find this information on the journal website. Check the homepage or about page to see if it describes a peer review or referee process. Articles written in newspapers, magazines, blogs, or Wikipedia are not considered scholarly sources. Rue's online databases are the perfect place to search for scholarly articles. To get started, select Journals and Databases from the library homepage. Many databases include a filter for limiting search results to peer-reviewed journals. Look for an option to limit or refine results by publication type then choose the option for academic journal or peer reviewed. Choosing the right database will make it easier to find relevant and useful information for your project. Rue Library's research guides can point you to the right databases for your specific subject or research topic. Select your subject from the alphabetical list to view relevant research guides or search for a guide using the search box. Most guides have a databases or search for sources tab, which will display databases related to your course or discipline. To access these databases, you will need to sign in using your Open Athens login information, which should be the same as your FSC single sign-on username and password. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you have any questions, your librarians are always ready to help.